57 Les Paul single cutaway junior uh, also it's in very very good shape like the double cutaway that I just uh, reviewed except this one has been played and it has been used it's very clean uh, among the echelon of juniors that we've seen it has a few little uh, scratches and wear issues that you'd expect it does have repro tuners on it and uh, the original tuners are in the case Another unusual thing about the guitar, which uh, I will mention to you, is it has your typical ink-stamped yellow seven-space serial number. But when one looks close behind that, he can find what I call an overrun serial number. It is in black ink stamp. It starts with five, and it's, it's one more extra digit. It's, it's very similar to what you might see on a 55 junior, where they had overrun into the next year and re, uh, not reset the counter. So uh, officially, judging by the bumblebee cap and the things inside, uh, my money's on it being a 57. That's kind of what I think it is. Obviously, it's, it's definitely uh, an all original, clean, right down to the jack plate guitar that plays and sounds and performs just like it's what it's supposed to. So it makes it a very, very nice piece. And of course, it's it's got the Leslie West, uh, you know. <laughs> Very clean, very articulate for, for what these are. They never were uh, the cleanest guitars. They distort nice. <laughs> of a nice, lightweight, and hot-sounding 1957 Les Paul Jr.